So you all just loved our last video where we talked about myths and misconceptions about honeybees. You did. You left a lot of good comments of other myths, and we're going to talk about those today. But keep in mind that later on in this video, we're going to give away, pick a winner wow. to give away that five-frame nucleus. There's a lot of misconceptions about honeybees, like if you eat bananas, will bees attack you? Or can a dead bee still sting you? And we're going to talk about a lot of these misconceptions, Sherry. Yeah, everybody loved our last video on myths and misconception yeah. so we're gonna do some more all right well let's start with the first one would we die if bees were wiped off the planet right right i mean you know the saying goes that three-fourths of everything you eat is is um, pollinated by a honeybee so right. if there were no honeybees there'd be nothing left to eat and and a lot of people say albert einstein says that we'll die within a certain number of years without honeybees nobody has found that yeah, to be true no one's found that to be true i don't think we're going to be wiped off the planet no. i think here's what's going to happen we would not be able to eat a lot of the foods that we enjoy. Yeah, it wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> there goes our coffee. Coffee beans are pollinated by honeybees. Ice cream, milk. Oranges. Uh, vegetables. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Maybe Apples. that one's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. We are going to die. True, yeah. who, who can live without coffee? Yeah, Oh, my exactly. gosh. That's it right there. That's We're right. done. And ice That's cream right. wiped mm. off, you know. Well, we we will not be happy campers, but we'll still we we'll still be here. <laughs> yeah, we still be here. Well, let's talk about the one about bananas. I Have like you, bananas. I like bananas. You know what, Sherry? Bees <laughs> I love. I eat a lot of bananas. Bees love bananas. Yeah, they, they like do. bananas. Some, you mean they go to bananas? Yeah. Well, some beekeepers actually feed their bees bananas. Oh, like a mash. Oh, uh, they just yeah, they, just, they do. Kind and of thing. and okay. so now, why do people say that? If you eat bananas and work bees, that the bees will be stinging you more. It's because the compound that's found in bananas has the same compound in some degree that you find in the alarm pheromone of honeybees when they sting you. And some people think, well, if bananas kind of smell like the alarm pheromone, all the bees are going to be attracted and they're going to attack you. But John and Dr. John Devishlak and I did a video, we made a video together of testing this out in the hive. We took a black sock, we stuffed, mm -hmm. we wadded up a banana in there, smushed it around, tried to agitate the colony. We really couldn't get them to get mad about the banana know. thing. And yeah. I'll leave a link uh, at the end of this yeah. video about that. Uh, you can watch that video and see our work that we did. But so um, you might want to play on the safe side. Maybe don't eat bananas. I mean, but we have never found bananas to make bees yeah. mad. So if you have bananas in your breakfast cereal, you don't need to be too worried That's about right. it. That's right. Just yep. go ahead and <laughs> yep. go out there. Well, here's another one that, that we can talk about. And that is that in the hive... The queen is the one that tells everybody what their job is, yep. right? Yep. Wrong. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. She really doesn't do much at all except lay eggs, about 2,000 a day. Uh -huh. And she gives off queen mandibular pheromone, QMP pheromones. Back so, to the pheromones. Yeah, she kind of, she's a, she's one that holds the whole hive together with her pheromones, kind of glues and knits mm -hmm. the hive together. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't give any orders out. She doesn't tell people what to do. Basically, the older bees are the ones that are kind of govern the hive, what the hive does. Mm -hmm. In fact, when a bee hive swarms, they have to work hard and kind of come up alongside of the queen to get her to leave. She's not yeah. one that just takes off with the swarm. Yeah. They have to kind of motivate her out of there. Yeah, yeah. So that's not they true do. either. So the queen doesn't give the orders, but I've heard a lot of people say that's how you can tell if you're queenless is because everybody seems to not be doing anything. Probably true. Probably a little bit more inactivity, organization. Yeah. Probably, they're probably getting less and less brood to take care of. So they're just kind of, uh, not a lot to do. yeah, there's not they're a, lot to do. a little bit louder, noisier, not but that's, as organized. But they're still bringing in pollen and they're still, they can, yeah, they can still do things. Those kinds of things. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Sure. Well, you know, along with that, I've, I've heard people say this a lot and they'll say, Oh, you know, I'm just so proud of myself. I've kept this hive alive for years now. You know, I've had that. I got this hive five years ago. Mm -hmm. It's still going strong, still got the same bees in it. And what people don't understand is the colony that you bought is not the colony you got. <laughs> That's so true. After about 40 days, like if you buy a package of bees, about 40 days later, you don't have any of those That's same, right. no same That's bees right. except one. 
the right, queen. The queen. You'll and have you the same queen. You might have that one for years. Yeah, you can have but the queen the for years. that's the only one that you'll have for years. Because all your bees are dying about every 35 to 45 days that's being right, replaced. Right. Yeah. So it's not, not the yeah. same hive. It, it, it seems hard to believe, doesn't it? These are my bees. It does. It does. I know them. I kept them alive for yeah. five years now. They know me. <laughs> now, now they're new. <laughs> you know, the other day I was in our hot tub. And I, I use a hot tub for my arthritis. You know, it's really, really, really good for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But while I was in there, David, there was a bee that got in there. And, you know, bees don't swim. So she came to a very quick death in the water with a with a heat. And she was just floating towards me. And I thought to myself, well, I'm just going to help the poor little thing and get her out. Do you know she stung me? Yep. She was dead. Yeah. Dead bees can't sting. Dead bees do sting. What? Yeah, I mean they're they're not purposely, you know, grabbing with their legs and pushing a stinger in, but what happens is the stinger <laughs> is still sticking out of a dead bee and if you touch it just right, that barb, mm -hmm. that point in the barb mm -hmm. will get you mm -hmm. and all at once those things kind of work start working into your skin. Believe me, I've been stung by a lot of dead bees, and especially like if I'm processing honey and I'm, I'm doing wax, you know, getting big yeah, piles of wax and there's yeah. a dead bee, that stinger hits me, it's in my skin, it hurts. Because mm -hmm. the venom sack is still going to pump some venom in you. Yep, so right. don't so pick up dead bees. Now, if they're or really, really, if, well, they're, if they've been dead a really long time, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're they'll not going to sting okay. you. They'll yeah. be okay. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's well, good. you know, there's another one that somebody left a comment. I'm telling you, I could not believe it. But bees feed the small hive beetles. Mm. There's no way that can be true. You know, that's so frustrating because you would think that's a big enemy, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Of the colony. Yeah, we don't it's, want them in there. So they what, don't like the beetles. I know, but... It, it's not a myth. They do feed beetles. Uh -huh. They do feed them. Here's what happens. The bees have a way of developing propolis gels. So they'll make a little gel with propolis and they'll you push... You mean J-A-I-L. Yes, J-A-I-L, okay. like okay. a gel. Okay. And so they'll push all these beetles into a gel and kind of propolize them in a corner so they can't get out. They're okay. in jail. Okay. But what the beetles do with their little antenna, they touch the antenna of the bees and kind of rub antennas together. The bee's natural response when somebody does that is, is to, to give them food. Them. Mm -hmm. So they, they feed them and it drives us crazy. Don't feed those oh, prisoners. Oh, wow. Yeah, Man, that, that happens. Is, that is crazy. I know. There's That's the craziest yeah. thing I've ever heard. There's videos. You can probably look on online and wow. find videos of bees feeding beetles. Yep. Yeah. That's too bad. Now, another one, Sherry, that people often wonder about is the alarm pheromone. And some people say that if you get stung, then uh -huh. there's an odor or a pheromone smell on your skin yeah. that attracts other bees to that location. Right. And more bees will sting you there. Right. I, that's what I've always heard. That is true. Uh oh <laughs> okay it, it's sort so. of true now i'll say this though there have been many times i'm working bees and i'll get stung uh -huh. on the finger the hand or something i don't do anything to uh -huh. cover it up or and and bees don't respond no no other bees sting me there but it is true that the alarm pheromone that's in around the venom sac of the honeybee, you know, your the stinger kind of sticks there. So that is giving off a lot of the alarm pheromone. Mm -hmm. And so they do use that to put a target on the whoever's invading their colony. So it does increase your chance of being stung. So if that happens to a beekeeper, what you need to do to play it safe is have something ready like an alcohol swab or something and you can uh, kind of swab off the alarm pheromone. Or what I do is take a smoker and yeah. kind of smoke my hand. Maybe yeah. the smoke will kind of hide the smell yeah. a little bit. Well, if you want to watch a video that Dr. John Zavishlak and I made about whether bees got more angry when they were exposed to bananas, watch this video right here. Find out for yourself. We'll see you over there.